Hello and welcome to Root Solutions videos. My name is Joshua Woodhouse and today I'll be taking you through how to install the Keyshot 6 plugin for Creo 3. So the first thing we'll need to do is navigate to the Keyshot website which is www.keyshot.com. This will take you to this page here and then from here if you hover over the resources tab and select downloads you'll come to this window just here. From here you now need to select the plugins which is just underneath the features tab. And then on this page, if you scroll down, you'll get to the, uh, the Luxium plugins, and this will show all the plugins which are available for 3D software. So I'm using Creo, so I need to select Creo. And then what I need to do, I need to decide if it's going to be for a Creo 3 or Creo 2 in either Keyshot 6 64-bit or Keyshot 6 32-bit. So I'm using Keyshot 6 64-bit for Creo 3. You then need to save this file. But as I've already saved this, to, to save time, I'm just going to cancel that. Once it's downloaded, if you run the .exe and then click Next, I agree, and choose where you want it to be installed. So as you can see, which has just popped up on the screen, you get this text pad, which has just opened up. This is just for future reference, so if you just want to close this down, and then click finish on the windows which is just in front of you so now if you open up Creo and you need to go to options which is under file options configuration editor and what you need to search for is proc dat So now you need to browse to where that location was and you need to select the propk.dat file. Click add change, close, import export per current filter. So this will now save your config.pro. Okay. And then what you need to do, you need to close down Creo so that what it does, it reboots it. And then if you open it up again and then open a part with inside of it or an assembly, you'll be able to see that you now have the Windows tab under the render tab for Keyshot. So if I go under the render, you'll see I've got a Keyshot tab and if I click render, what it will do, it will open up a brand new window without having to exit um, Creo at all, which is automatically done. Like I talked about earlier with the live linking, as you can see, it's got a sharp edge along the top here. If I minimize the Keyshot window, activate the part and create a round on the top of it, and then if I go back into the render tab, as you can see, you don't have the key shot tab. That's because only this part is selected. So what you need to do, you need to activate the main assembly, go back into the render tab. And as you can see, the key shot tabs appeared again. So within update, select update, go back into the key shot and it's created the round. Thank you very much for your time.